transglutaminase enzyme properties and application in yogurt. What is transglutaminase enzyme? Transglutaminase is a kind of enzyme that catalyzes inter and intra crosslinks in milk proteins by covalent bonds. How does it work in food? TG can take lysine and glutamine as the best substrate to create crosslinks. By these inter and intra links, a three dimensional network is created. In other words, the protein is polymerized. Transglutaminase contains 331 amino acids and is naturally found in the human body in poultry, fish, pork, beef, and plants. This type is calcium dependent. An enzyme derived from a microbial source is calcium independent, so it is suitable for using in food application because foods like dairy products contain calcium and this calcium can inhibit the enzyme activation. Microbial transglutaminase that is not calcium dependent is derived from Streptomyces moberensis bacteria. This bacteria is from the family of actinomycete and the genus of a streptomyces. It is found predominantly in soil and is noted for its distinct earthy odor. As a food additive, transglutaminase is non-GMO and is obtained from grass microorganisms. Hence it is considered as clean label. This means it is not necessary to declare it in the label of finished product. Research has shown that crosslinks created by TG can reduce the allergensity of milk protein by 17%. Any food which contains protein can be a good substrate for TG enzyme. Number 1. Bakery Products among the constituent proteins in bakery products, gladine and glutenin can react well with TG enzyme. Number 2. Meat products. In meat products among the constituent proteins, gelatin and myosin react very well and collagen react well with TG enzyme. Number 3. In soy protein products, globulin reacts very well with TG enzyme. Number 4. In eggs. Egg yolk protein reacts well and egg white protein reacts depending on conditions. Number 5. Gelatin protein reacts very well with TG enzyme. Number 6. Dairy products. In dairy products, which are the main topic of discussion here, casein proteins react very well with TG enzyme but whey protein's reaction varies depending on the conditions. Because of their open tertiary structure, casein are more exposed and therefore considered to be more effective substrates for TG than whey proteins that have quaternary structure. Whey protein can become a good substrate when its structure is unfolded by heat treatment or when a reducing agent is used. There are also differences in the reaction with TG between different types of casein as well as whey proteins. In caseins, for example, sodium caseinate is more affected by the reaction with TG enzyme. Among whey proteins, alpha-lactalbumin is more affected than beta-lactoglobulin. Cross-linking of casein components by transglutaminase. 
the transglutaminase reaction with each casein component is followed by estimating the ammonia released by the protein. The reactivity of kappa casein is lower than alpha S1 and beta caseins. The reason for this may be that kappa casein has a lower amount of lysine and glutamine residue than alpha S1 and beta, although kappa casein is more exposed. On the other hand, the percentage of kappa casein in casein mycelles is less than that of beta and alpha S1. As a result, alpha S1 and beta casein are more important in creating intra-crosslinks and kappa casein is involved in intercrosslinking due to its greater exposure in casein mycelle when we have intact casein. Which kind of dairy products can be improved by applying TG? All dairy products can be affected by TG to improve their quality, but the most common dairy products it could be applied to are all fermented products like set, steered, drinkable yogurt and cheese. The textural property improvement of yogurt by transglutaminase treatment. Set yogurt. It can increase the gel strength or hardness. By reducing 1% of SMP and replacing it with 150 ppm of TG enzyme with an activity of 100 units per gram, the hardness will increase by 22%. It can increase the spoonability as well. Moreover, with its replacement, the synergesis will be reduced by 7.4%. Therefore, by increasing the gel strength, improving the spoonability and reducing the synergesis, the use of TG enzyme to improve the property of set yogurt is definitely justified. Steered yogurt. It can increase the viscosity in a steered yogurt. By reducing 1% of SMP and replacing it with 350 ppm of TG enzyme with an activity of 100 units per gram, the viscosity will increase by 61.4%. Moreover, with this replacement, the synergesis will be reduced by 16.1%. Therefore, by increasing the viscosity and reducing the synergesis, the use of TG enzyme to improve the properties of a steered yogurt is definitely justified. Increasing creaminess It can increase the creaminess and can help to lower the cream content. Increases texture stability during transportation. Provides a smoother, drier and slightly whiter surface in yogurt. Keeps the natural taste of the product in comparison with the use of stabilizers. Cost reduction in set yogurt. The cost of 1% of SMP in set yogurt formulation is much higher than 150 ppm of the TG enzyme and therefore this change not only improves the quality but also reduces the cost. Also, with the use of 150 ppm of TG enzyme with an activity of 100 units per gram instead of 1% SMP, we can reduce supply chain costs, the storing costs due to lower amount of SMP in the stock, time consuming and high risk processes like handling and dispatching, mixing and hydration of SMP, costs due to waste and rework and health problems. 
which factors can influence the TG dosage. To reach the desirable texture, we should consider the amount of protein in the product and the enzyme activity. Number 1. Protein Percentage In industry, to show dosage, percentage of PPM is used. In academic research, to show this ratio, unit of enzyme per gram of protein is used, which is tested between 0 to 10. It is true that the higher the protein content, to reach the constant amount of cross-linking, more enzymes should be used. Obviously, by increasing the percentage of SMP to increase protein content, texture hardness will increase. Also, by increasing the TG enzyme dosage to a certain extent, texture properties will improve too. Determining the exact dosage of TG enzyme and SMP depends on two items. Number one, desirable texture and rheological properties. Number two, cost of the recipe. Industrially, to keep the quality constant while reducing costs, they've reduced the amount of protein and reinforced the remaining with TG enzyme. Therefore, TG enzyme producers, in optimum condition, recommend 150 ppm of TG with activity of 100 units per gram, when the protein is about 3 to 3.5 percent. This value is equal to 0.5 unit of enzyme for each gram of protein. This amount can be increased up to three times for steered yogurt. Number 2. The Enzyme Activity There are currently TG enzyme with different activity in the market. For example, 100, 300 and 1000 units per gram. The higher the activity of the enzyme, the lower the required dosage. For example, for TG enzyme with activity of 300 units per gram, about 50 ppm is used when the protein content is about 3%. It is important to mention the TG enzyme, purity, activity, the type and amount of carrier, the manner of mixing and packaging cause differences among different brands and makes a difference in the texture of the final product. So choosing the right supplier can be extremely important and a key factor. Which factors should be considered when using TG enzyme? Some factors like temperature, pH and the amount of dissolved oxygen should be considered in the process and in use. Related to temperature, below plus 2 degrees Celsius, transglutaminase is inactivated. Optimum temperature, maximum activity, is about 50 degrees Celsius. Above 65 degrees Celsius, transglutaminase is irreversibly inactivated. Related to pH, Optimum pH for TG enzyme activity is between 5 to 7. Enzyme activity decreases as the pH decreases below 5. TG gets almost inactivated below the pH of 4.5. About dissolved oxygen. The same as a starter culture, lowering the dissolved oxygen can be helpful for TG enzyme activity. Therefore, anything that causes the enzyme to be exposed to oxygen must be avoided. Optimizing production line conditions. Where could TG enzyme be added? Depending on the process and production equipment, TG enzyme can be added in raw milk, in mixing stage or after heat treatment, just before adding starter culture, in inoculation tanks. All research and experiences have shown that adding TG enzyme after the heat treatment and just before adding starter culture in inoculation tanks gives the best result. 
because at this stage whey proteins are denatured, unfolded and more accessible for Tg. So can react with enzyme, therefore a better texture is obtained. It is good to know that using transglutaminase is compatible with modern food technology like HHP is one of the non-thermal processing technologies in food industry and it can have a positive effect. Optimizing production line conditions, avoiding oxygen exposure. Due to the sensitivity of Tg enzyme to oxygen, it is recommended to use a deaerator in production line, which reduces the amount of dissolved oxygen. as well as preventing strong pumping which can make foam in the milk. It is also recommended to avoid unnecessary stirring which increases the amount of dissolved oxygen and makes foam. For the same reason, we should try to use full capacity of all tanks and don't leave part of them free. Considerations in using transglutaminase To achieve the best result in using transglutaminase, the following points should be considered. Type of a starter culture Transglutaminase enzyme is compatible with most codes of starter culture, but works more effectively with some of them. To reach the best results, it is advised to use EPS exopolysaccharide producing starter culture with Tg enzyme. Because Tg enzyme gradually loses its activity over time, pay attention to the enzyme's shelf life. To prevent cross-contamination, hygienic and aseptic conditions must be considered in the four steps below when using Tg enzyme. Number one, unsealing the packs. Number two, weighing the required amount number three handling in factory number four adding tg enzyme in the production line a hermetic pack could be kept in the ambient temperature of the unsealing and taking the required amount of tg enzyme seal the rest in the pack to cause minimum exposure to oxygen and keep it frozen and use as soon as possible at lower temperature, it takes longer to achieve the desired result with Tg enzyme. For example, at 42 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature to add starter culture, it takes 3 to 4 hours to complete the reaction, which is equal to the time required for fermented process. What kind of inhibitors can prevent the Tg enzyme activity? In addition to considering the optimal conditions in terms of pH, temperature, substrate quality and dissolved oxygen, some inhibitors like heavy metals can prevent Tg enzyme activity. So we should prevent or decrease their presence in the media. There are some inhibitors for Tg enzyme, such as lead, zinc and copper, which have an inhibitory effect on enzyme function. This is because these heavy metals bind the thiol group of the single cysteine residue, which is the active site of Tg enzyme. Although research has shown that Tg enzyme is moderately inhibited by nickel, cobalt and iron, however potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, manganese and barium do not affect the activity of the purified Tg. Emulsifying property of Tg treated casein. Casein is a natural and strong emulsifier. All types of casein, alpha, beta, and kappa, 
have both hydrophilic and hydrophobic sides, but the arrangements of them are different in each type of casein. By applying TG in creating inter and intra crosslinks in casein, the emulsifying properties of casein can be improved, and this leads to number one, reducing the size of oil droplets in oil in water or W emulsions, number two, stronger and greater stability against coalescence or folliculation and creaming. Considering the functional effects and cost benefits of using TG enzyme in yogurt production and also the fact that its application has no negative effects on health, its application in dairy industry has increased in recent years all over the world. Transglutaminase enzyme properties and application in yogurt by Amit Khosravi founder and CEO of Dairy Mastermind. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. For more educational videos, please visit our website www.dairymastermind.com.